So today is day one of the Atkins diet, and I'm doing the induction phase, which is basically um, almost, it limits all your carbs. You are at either 20 to 25 carbs a day, um, and there's a list of foods that you can and can't eat. Uh, right now, I am trying to uh, um, at least put in 10 of those carbs as my vegetable carbs. That's why there's vegetables on this table. Uh, but I thought it would be neat to kind of uh, give a look at how uh, how many recipes you can actually do, how many, how many different types of foods you can actually eat on the Atkins induction phase. Uh, and I know that some people are kind of scared at the beginning because it just looks like all you can eat is meat and just green vegetables and that's it. But, I mean, there's really lots of different things you can eat. And I'm just going to, this is about a week's worth of meals here, uh, breakfast and lunch, well, actually more like lunch and dinner. Breakfast is a little bit different for me. Um, so let me just start off here. These are some patties that I made. Th they're turkey and uh, ground pork patties. Uh, later on in the week, I might make a little burger or something. And then there's also like some meatballs there. So there's enough for like three or four servings at least in there. And then I made some turnip fries, which are awesome. They taste really good, and with ranch will be even better. Uh, that's about two servings there. Those usually have to be done at least this, the day that you're going to eat them because they get kind of soggy after two days. Here are some uh, jalapeno uh, so, uh, jalapeno um, chicken breasts, which are they were sautéed. Uh, they're they're really good. Uh, there's about I don't know maybe about four in there, so I can. I can split that out through the week. And then here's the, the, the I'm going to use about five, I'm going to have about five omelets or so this week for breakfast. And then I really like this. This is a spaghetti squash with mushrooms and uh, um, turkey. And it has heavy cream also and a couple of other things in there. I'll, I'll try to put the, the recipes um, online also. And here is some roasted cauliflower, which is great. Uh, I also brought some ham, which should be the best ham that you can buy. None of that stuff that has sugar or anything like that in it. This is actually turkey, I think. This is uh, Central Market Central Market roasted turkey is what it is. Uh, and I brought about half a pound. And I'm thinking about making some wraps with cheese for snacks or maybe for lunch. And these are some boiled eggs, which I can put on my salads. Of course, you're going to have a sweet tooth uh, during the induction phase. So I made some some mini cheesecake which cheesecakes which I'll just pop in the freezer. These do not have a crust and they are low carb. I'll just put a little bit of um, whipped cream which I have over there on top and I'm ready to go. Uh, I also use Splenda uh, to sweeten things up and later on this week I'm going to be making some uh, chocolate mousse, some very low carb chocolate mousse. That's what the uh, the chocolate powder and the heavy whipped cream is for back there. And I'm also here. I have some uh, cheese slices so I can have you know make my burgers and my wraps. And I made some asparagus also today. There's about four or five servings in there. And I have some Parmesan cheese, a little bit of uh, ground turkey left over there just in case I want to use it for something else this week. And here's also some fish. I think that's tilapia. So I have two fillets in there which I can make later on this week also. And you know for my salads there. And this is uh, lettuce also. Th this, these are going to be for my wraps. And uh, avocado, cucumber, and tomato, and some lime. You kind of have to limit the tomato. It has a lot of carbs in it. So, But I love cucumber and tomato salad, which is a little bit of lemon on it. And salt, it's, it's so good. But that's why I kind of have to limit it. Um, and then I'm going to make a roasted chicken later on this week also. And here I have some uh, cheese bites. These are really good. They're a little bit on the expensive side, but I kind of hate cheese sticks, so I go with these. Um, and then there's some ricotta there, which I can have for breakfast. It has about three or four uh, net carbs, so it's a, it's a little bit on the high side. But And some sour cream, which I can add to some of the, uh, some of the things I make. And then baby clams and some salmon, some salmon there also, which I can use later this week. And my ranch. <clears throat> 